I have to give Toyota a naught, a naught out of 10, because all of this information, right, when, when products are faulty and people are talking about them online, on Twitter, wherever they were talking about them, you know, you could ring up those people and you could exchange that car in 48 hours and it would cost you the cost of a car, $20,000, $30,000, right? They let it run and they let it run. It's got completely out of control. It might only be 50 cars. And if it is, fix them. Follow the conversation on Twitter. Listen, fix. Pick up the phone, fix. It's not difficult. The big lesson is, uh, is to listen. <laughs> it's just to listen and stop talking, you know. Two ears, one mouth. Listen twice as much as you talk. You know, basic, basic, basic common sense. The tools are all there now, the listening tools are all there to listen to what people are saying. Delta installed over three billion conversations on the social media landscape over the last couple of years. You can go and look at those conversations and see what people are really saying. That's not a focus group where you're controlling the environment. That's how your product or brand is being perceived in the real world. And that's why it's important. So yeah, our technology scans the, the, all of these kind of social media sites, gives you the ability to look for answers across those different spaces, just see what people are talking about. Sure, you can engage in that conversation if you've got a wise strategy for doing so, but simply knowing what's going on, uh, opening your eyes, getting your head out of the bucket is probably a good plan because otherwise, you know, it's going on behind your back. Let's just take the Domino's example when um, Domino's Pizzas had a YouTube video with a faked uh, people messing around with pizzas before they delivered them caused a potentially huge catastrophe. Domino's were able to react very quickly to that because they were listening. They knew that was happening, they came out with a strategy and they, they delivered that strategy. And that's a good thing for Domino's now. They're considered to be a brand that listened and reacted. Companies that have negative things happen to them, it's part of business, it's part of life. But they need to respond in a way that is trusted and official and caring and personal. They need to do it quickly and they need to do it in all possible places. Social media is one of those places today. For somebody like a Toyota or an Adwala or a Jack in the Box or a Motrin, it can be extremely challenging to try and talk to tens of thousands of people at once. It can seem impossible to go blog by blog, but you need to make the absolute best effort. And if they see you making that best effort, the tide will change in your favor and people will ex execute and communicate the conversations which you've had and spread the word to other friends.